Hey guys, just a quick vlog on killersites.com. You hit the blog. I've, uh, I'm starting to write more articles and the reason I'm writing some articles is because sometimes I can better present an idea in written format. Anyhow, so a couple of pieces, entrepreneurs, modern day entrepreneurs, and I basically talk about very quick how if you're going to be an entrepreneur these days, you have to, as an entrepreneur, even if you're not going to be writing code, even if you're not going to be involved in the, the tech end of it, you have to be aware of your technology options out there. So just about every business is going to need a website, as an example. And if you are a business owner, even if you're working web designers, web developers, any web designers, web developers here will tell you, when you're dealing with owners or clients who don't know anything about the web, it's a lot more difficult to get the site out because they don't know the process. They don't know what's possible. So you as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, if you know the basics of web design, you know the basis, basics of HTML and CSS, just the basics, not and you understand you know, how the web kind of works, how the websites kind of work, you're going to be able to make much better business decisions and that's going to save a lot of frustration with your web designers and your web developers it's going to save you a lot of headaches and you're going to be able to make better business decisions because you'll know what's what's doable what's doable what's not doable so this is, goes beyond just the basics of building a website it has to do with uh, understanding uh, social media how different social media platforms can be used depending on the type of business that you have. For instance, Facebook was kind of general purpose, whereas YouTube might be not so good for a piping company, but it might be good for a hair salon or something. You get the idea. So this is something I just wrote very quickly. Another thing, I have a, a guest post. I get people who want to guest post on Killer Sites because Killer Sites gets... Uh, I don't know if it's a million or two million page views a month now. I have to check. I haven't looked at the data recently. And um, so here we go. Three things you should do if you want to start a successful home business. Interesting little article the she put together is Lucy. And uh, somebody asked recently, I think it was a private message, does Webflow spend, spell the end of web designers? Webflow is, is a, an app that allows you to create uh, responsive web sites fairly easily. I haven't used it, but to me, it's not the end. You're going to see in time as you develop your, uh, as the web develop, develops, as this tool sets get more sophisticated, the role of a web professional, the role of a web designer, of a web developer will change. So as an example, what we had to do in the 1990s, the late 90s, versus what happened in 2003, it was a huge shift in the skill sets that web, devi web designers needed and to a certain extent web developers and then again in 2012 about there's another shift again in terms of the skill not as big of a shift from the 90s to the early 2000s but still a shift i uh, for example uh flash flash died out flash developers flash for animation flash you know that was technology totally disappeared and uh that's not necessarily the best example but you get the idea the point is that's why I keep emphasizing the core, understanding the core fund foundations, the fundamentals of uh, programming, of coding, uh, the fundamentals of what makes up the web, the client versus the server, the client server model, the request response cycle. All these things are universal. And no matter what tools come out, whether it be Webflow or some new HTML5 gizmo or whatever new language, if you have your fundamentals, then everything else becomes super easy. So I discussed this just briefly on this uh, in the article. So if you check out, again, Killer Sites, go to the blog. Yes, I am encouraging people to check out the site. It takes two seconds, to click, two seconds to click over. But I just gave you a synopsis of what, uh, what I discussed in these articles. I'm going to be posting more and more here. And you notice I'm bringing in more of my entrepreneurial background, which 28 years experience, and I'm combining that with my coding experience as well. I want to sort of, I want to bring in both perspectives, so that to have a, a more, f f a more well-rounded skill set and interpretation of things. Because I think a lot of developers, people who are learning to become developers, a lot of them are either looking to become freelancers or they're looking to develop their own apps, develop their own, uh, whether it be apps or web apps or whatnot. 
And it's very important that you understand the business end of things in both cases. Even if you're working for a company, if you can understand how business people think, understand business considerations, it's going to make you a better developer. All right, that's it for now. We'll talk soon.